You'll notice many of the presets in Procedural Texture Filter, which you can find in the Filters menu and Colors and Procedural Texture, never use the underlying image. So I've got an underlying image here, which is just a gradient, but it could be an image, etc. How to actually bring in the red, the green, and the blue? Well, first thing to do, I'm just going to quickly go to that equation and I'm going to add R, or I'm actually going to put minus R. You don't have to, of course, you could put plus R as well. So straight away, you've got R into it, which is the red. What you can also do is you've got plus there, and you can bring in the other channels as well. So I'm just going to bring in copy and paste, and I'm going to go for G and B. So I've now got red, green, and blue. At the moment, unfortunately, I've only just got red, green, and blue along the top. What I can do, I can deselect those, and then I can bring in green, Remove the A, I don't want that, and the blue. So I've got it basically back to what it was before, but you've now got minus R, minus G, minus B. Well, that's not too useful. What you need now, some custom inputs or parameters to modify the R. So you can put like times, and so I'm not going to use A, but I can use, to confuse it, maybe it would be B, of course, but I can put times red, times green, and times blue. Now I need to set those custom inputs up. So I'm just going to go for the R. So create a couple of those. And they've got BC now. I'm just going to make that red, green, and blue. And it's back to basically what it was before. Because of course R times red is basically zero. But now what I can do, I can put 0 0.6 there. And you can see straight away now, because I've got a gradient, you can see the white and the black there. Now I can say, not three, but I can go for 4.3. So straight away, you've got the, the underlying image coming through. And you can do this with all of the other, vi all the various other presets as well. And you also can put minus as well, so minus 3.4. So you can see you can create a nice colorful design like that, very quick and easy. What you can also do is you can save this because obviously it's not going to be much use if it's just for white to black gradient. So I'm just going to quickly create a preset. And I'm going to call it sine wave one, very original. And then I can go for, let's just put it into colored patterns and then create. So it's stored away now. You can use it because unfortunately, when you come back to this filter, all these settings are gone, which is not very helpful. So I'm just going to apply it. And you can see now what happens. You've got this design and it's been modified. That gradient suddenly been turned into this very nice, colorful design. Let's just use a different image now. Now I can go back to my filter. So again, filters down to colors and procedural texture. Of course, as I said, nothing in there, which is I think slightly annoying. I wish it would actually remember the last settings because you obviously coming back to it, you want to, you know, use it again, but it's lost it. And there it is, sine wave one down the bottom. So sine wave one, and it brings back all of the thing. And now you see what you've got. You've got this thing. Now it uses the same values, of course, so you might want to tweak those. So 0 0.2, maybe minus 4 4.3. You can drag that out a bit so you can see it a bit better. Maybe go for 0.2 or 12.4, 3.5. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time. A like or dislike, always great. Thank you much.